close your eyes and watch your breath. Watch the breath all the way in, all the way out. Try to pay close attention to what the breath is doing, how it feels. If it doesn't feel comfortable, you can change. Make it longer, shorter, deeper, more shallow, heavier, lighter. It's up to you to observe. There's nobody else who can come in and tell you your breath should be like this or should be like that. It's up to you to observe what feels good for, for the body right now and what the mind can stay with. Sometimes if the breath is too gentle, it's hard to stay with it, so you breathe a little bit more heavily. It all depends on your powers of observation. If you're really observant, you get to see things you didn't see before. After all, the Buddha found awakening right here when he was focused on his breath. What was the difference between his breath and our breath? Nothing. The difference was the amount of attention he paid. This quality is an important one. When the Buddha talks about the things that protect us, one of them is paying careful attention, listening carefully, watching carefully, noticing what's going on around you, and noticing what's going on inside. If you don't pay attention, if you're not really observant, things can go right past you, and you don't even notice that they're there. When you don't notice things, how can you learn from them? Or that there's something that's dangerous, how can you prepare for the danger? If there's something there that's good, how can you know how to make the best use of it? It all depends on your powers of observation, listening carefully, watching carefully. This is how we learn more about life. Our problem is that as the children we watched and listened carefully, but then as we get older we tend to let things kind of slide. There's so much we think we've seen it all before. But again, you may have seen it, but you may not have really understood it. As I said, the Buddha found awakening right here in the present moment at his breath. In fact, everything we need for awakening is right here. Everything we need to learn about how to stop causing ourselves suffering unnecessarily, it's all right here. The question is, are you going to pay attention? If you pay attention, it makes all the difference in the world. So pay careful attention when you're listening to the drama, pay careful attention to what's being said, and then take and think about it. What makes sense? What doesn't make sense? If it doesn't make sense, you can ask. This is one of the special qualities of the Buddhist teachings. He said other people may teach, in what he says, encouraging bombast, in other words, say beautiful things that sound nice. But when you actually ask them what they mean, there's not much there. Whereas in his case, he said whatever he said, he was always willing to answer questions about it. So try to understand things. Pay attention, think about things. If you come up with questions, be free to, feel free to ask. This is how we learn, because that's what it's all about. It's all about learning. As the Buddha said, we suffer because of our ignorance. And there's only one way to overcome ignorance, is that's by paying careful attention. You can hear the Dharma, which is, which is meant to help you. But if you're not paying attention, it goes right past. So listen carefully, look carefully. And that way you protect yourself from your own ignorance. And that's the biggest danger there is. Because when you're ignorant, you can cause yourself a lot of suffering, much more suffering than anybody else can cause you. If you pay attention, you can find the highest happiness, something that's more than you might imagine. It all depends on paying attention.